name of Jesus. Everything must die. Devils flee. At the name of Jesus. Freedom is proclaimed. Oh, I'm so glad I can call on somebody that actually has power to set me free, to deliver me, and to give me victory. Come on, come on. I'm glad to know the name Jesus. I'm glad to be found in Jesus. I'm glad to pull on the name of Jesus. Is there anybody in this room that know the name Jesus? As your savior, as your deliverer, as your healer, as your provider, as your promise keeper. Everything, everything. Knowing the name of Jesus changes your life. Having the knowledge of Jesus Christ changes your life. Thank you, Lord. Nothing would ever be the same. Because of that one name. One call. <laughs> would change everything. Yes. Would change everything. Yes, would change everything. Yes, would change everything. Yes, the name of Jesus yes, would change everything. Yes, would change everything. Yes, would change everything. Yes, the name of Jesus yes, would change everything. Yes, would change everything. Yes, would change everything. Yes, the name of Jesus. Will change your attitude. Yes. Will change your attitude. Yes. Will change your attitude. The name of Jesus. Will change your heart. Will change your heart. To change your heart. I said the name of Jesus. Will change your life. Forever. Forever. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm not ashamed to know the name of Jesus Christ. I pull on that name. I wear that name. I, I put, I put, I clothe in his righteousness. The knowledge of Jesus Christ has life-changing effects on an individual's life. Everything changes. Look at your name and tell them everything changes. How you look at God, how you look at life, yes. and the world around you yes. changes yes. when you encounter Jesus Christ. Thank you, how you even look at yourself yes. changes you, when you have knowledge of Jesus Christ. Yes. You, the world and the things in the world doesn't look as attractive anymore yes. when you encounter the true and living God. Yes. We know him as Jesus. Emmanuel, God is with us. He ain't never left us. And he will never forsake us. Thank you for the name of Jesus. Can we just put his name in the atmosphere this morning? Jesus. Sometimes you, you don't even know what to say because the pain is so deep. The anxiety is so deep. The worry is so deep, you don't even know what else to say. But I challenge you this morning, wherever you at, maybe you may be online, to just say the name of Jesus. 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 Sometimes it might get too, too, too much on you. Sometimes I remember times laying in that bed. And maybe fear might creep up on you. And you're just so scared. You don't know what you're going to do. It's something all day you can do and lay on your side. And just say, Jesus. 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 And every time I say the name Jesus, I feel anxiety breaking off of me. I feel worry breaking off of me. I feel fear breaking off of me. Everything flees when I scream the name of Jesus. I didn't come in no other name this morning, but I come in the name of Jesus. I just want to put his name all over the atmosphere this morning. I just want to put his name all over the internet this morning. His name is Jesus. It's no other name under heaven. 
which man can be saved but by the name of Jesus. I declare his name this morning. And these tears are not tears of sadness. But these tears are tears of joy. Because I found the answer. I found the solution. I found the one who can change everything. And his name is Jesus. I'm not ashamed of the name of Jesus. He took away my shame yes. on Calvary. Yes. They humiliated him yes. for my transgressions. Yes. He took the humiliation. Yes. That should have been me. Yes. That should have been me yes. crucified. Yes. But he took my place. Yes. He took all my sin. He took the humiliation so I won't have to walk around in humiliation. He took the shame so I don't have to walk with my head down low. He took the stripes so I can be healed. Jesus. Jesus. Some of you women ought to pray for your own children. I declare that you put your hand on them and just say, Jesus. Because when you declare the name of Jesus over your children, that's everything that they need pertaining to life and godliness is in his name. So when you say the name of Jesus, they will lack nothing. The name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for that wonderful name. You are a wonderful counselor. God, I don't have to go with my insurance card to you. I don't have to worry about a copay when I come to you. You are the wonderful counselor. I can sit and talk to you free of charge. And you can, I can tell you all about it. And you will direct my path into the right answers. I declare that he's Jesus. The anointed one. <laughs> the glorious one. The mighty one. The everlasting God. The prince of peace. The word prince means ruler. Oh my God. So at the name of Jesus, there's peace. He's the head of peace. Christ himself is peace. Oh, I'm making some declarations this morning. I got to proclaim the name of Jesus. There's too many other names being promoted in the earth realm. There's too many other names being promoted in the earth realm. So I want to come and lift up the name of Jesus. Hashtag that, Jesus. Come on, come on. Actually pull on a name that actually counts. Jesus. Actually pull on a name that actually has some authority and power. Jesus. Actually pull on a name that can promise you eternity. Jesus. Pull on a name that can carry you throughout this life and the life to come. Jesus. Oh. I ain't coming no other name. My name don't matter. <laughs> but the name of Jesus matters. You want to talk about everything else that matters, but Jesus is the one that's relevant. If it ain't about Jesus, it's not relevant. We lift up the name of Jesus. He has all glory, which means he has all weight. Oh, he can, you can pull on that. He can hold you up. He can hold you up. How many of you know that he's an anchor for the soul? He keep your soul from being double-minded and tossed to and fro. He's an anchor for the soul. His name is Jesus. Oh, I'm not expecting to get hearts and lights from the world. Because the world don't love him. But I'm talking to some born, reborn again believers that know 
him as Jesus, that know him and love him and obey him. I'm talking to the blood-washed believers. I'm talking to the more than conquerors. I'm talking to the apples of his eyes. I'm talking to the chosen ones. I'm talking to the royal and priesthood. I'm talking to them that know him and love him. Amen. Amen. I'm ready. 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 I don't need no lights. I don't need no smoke and cameras. All I need is the name of Jesus, and it stirs me up every time. Too many of y'all been idle. Too many of y'all been unemployed. Oh my God, in the spirit, follow me now. Some of y'all been unemployed in the spirit. You've been idle. You haven't been bearing no fruit. You haven't been activated in the spirit. But this morning we come to activate you through the name of Jesus. He's the God of the living. Only by the name of Jesus can you truly come alive. I was dead. Non-responsive. But now my soul cries out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Glory to the name. Oh God, thank you, Father. There is a word from the Lord this morning. Y'all done started something. Don't, don't, don't pull on that name if you don't mean it. You done started something. The name of Jesus. Father, we come to you. Humble. Heads bowed down. Heart prostrated before you. Because you are ruler. We acknowledge who you truly are. Your name is holy. And we don't dare mention the name, a yes, holy God. name, unless we bow down in yes. submission. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. We reverence Thank you, your name. Yes, Lord. We don't regard your name as light. Yes, Lord. God. We don't take you for granted. Yes. Thank you, Lord. God. We call on that name because you are our champion. Yes. Thank you, Lord. God. <laughs> and we root for our champion this morning. Yes. We love your name, oh God. Take notice of the praise. Yes. We want you to inhabit this praise yes. this morning. Yes, God. We want you to be comfortable in this praise. Yes, May this atmosphere be conducive yes. to what you want to do here this morning. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, God, as we proclaim your word this morning, your holy word, yes. I pray that you remove all distractions. In the mighty name of Jesus. That this word may be a penetrating yes. word, a transformative word, a word that will activate your people. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Can you give the Lord a hand clap this morning? Can you can you just shout praises to the King? Thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph. Always causes us to triumph. No matter what you're looking at, God causes us to triumph. We are a victorious people. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. If you would turn in your Bibles to the book of 2 Peter. And I'm going to go against protocol this morning. I, I have some announcements. I'll do announcements later on. I want to get to this word. Y'all don't yes, start at something. Yes. You, can, you called on the name of Jesus. Yes. He is the word. Yes. <laughs> so I want to get word. to the word. Yes. Amen. Amen. Second Peter chapter 1. Yes. And I want you to mm -hmm. pay attention Amen. to verse 3. The Bible says, according as his divine power. Yes, sir. Yes. Watch this. Because faith comes by hearing. Yes. I need yes. you to hear me this morning. Amen. According yes. 
as his divine power has given unto us. Somebody say us. Us. All things. All things. All things. All things. That pertain unto life and godliness. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Through the knowledge God. of him. The knowledge of Jesus Christ is your vehicle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's your key. Yes, sir. Come on. To life Amen. and godliness. Amen. Yes, Amen. And that'll work. You can burn all the sage you want. <laughs> you can pray 10 times a day. That's it. You can fast until you fall out. Amen. Fast until you fall out. No. But if you don't get to Come know on. him, Amen. Even matter. Amen. do you will lack the divine power, a.k.a. grace, Amen. that's needed and that pertains to life? That's it. And godliness. Amen. Amen. Come on. The Bible says, through the knowledge of Him, watch that, that have called us. Hello. That's it. Called us. Keyword. To glory and virtue. Yes, sir. I hear many people today speak of callings. Huh. See? But many don't know what they're called to. Come on uh -oh. now. When God invites you, He gives you an invitation. On the invitation, it has a destination mm -hmm. where he wants you to meet with him. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Every calling, every invitation has a purpose attached to it. Amen. That's it. So okay. God is saying right here in his word, I'm giving you an invitation Come on. to glory. Oh, my God. Ah. <laughs> and I'm ah. giving you an invitation mm -hmm. To virtue. That's good. Come on, baby. I know that you won't be able to get there on your own accord, so I gave you my oh. divine power Amen. so that you may be partakers yes. of this nature. Amen. Come on, Amen. sir. The Bible says, you know. whereby are given unto us, I love the word of God, exceeding great and precious promises. This is talking not only about promises, but it's talking about the quality of the promises. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How many of you know a lot of people promise you a lot of things? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But the quality of their promises don't hold weight. In that order. Oh, you Come don't on. talk to me today. Come on. You acting like people mm -hmm. that never been broken hearted before. Somebody promised you something yes. and yes. ain't never made good on a uh -huh. word. Get but I'm order. talking about the quality of the promise. Uh -huh. The Bible says exceeding Meaning, meaning it, it went beyond. Uh -huh. In that order. Come on, sir. It went beyond great. Uh -huh. Use them. If Come I can on. say, oh, this was a great promise. No, 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 no. The Bible said exceeding great. Exceeding great. Come on, sir. I don't know too many things that can exceed great. Amen. Speak but the promises of God exceed great. Amen. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The Bible Come says on. because it exceeds great, it is precious. Amen. I love it. Meaning it don't come every day. Amen. This is something rare. Uh-huh. The promises of something is rare. Uh -huh. It's unique. I love it. So it exceeds great. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. And precious promises. Yes, yes. We're talking about covenant. Come on now. I love it. I love it. That by these, that by what? These promises. These promises. Yes, sir. You might be made partakers. That word partakers, if you just turn it backwards, it means to take part. Come on now. Oh my God. Oh, you get to take part of what? Of the divine nature. Yes, sir. Glory. Hallelujah. Teach it, sir. God has given you a promise. Yes. I love it. Didn't he promise you the Holy Ghost? Yes, yes. he did. And he's here. Hallelujah. Didn't he give it to you? Yes. So you have access through the spirit of God, yes. through the grace of God, to take part in his divine nature. Amen. I love Glory. it. And when you take part in his divine nature, you have escaped the corruption. Yes, yes. That's good. That is in the world yes. through lust. Yes. In that order. The corruption is unavoidable. It's inescapable without the nature of God. Yes, sir. Amen. You need his divine nature. Glory to God. To be living on the inside. Of you. To escape the world Amen. and the lust that's around on the outside. Amen. Glory. 
Amen. Verse 5, verse 5. Yes, and besides this, somebody said besides this. Besides, besides this. Giving all diligence. Yes. Add to your faith. Add to your faith virtue. Mm -hmm. And to virtue, no. knowledge. Somebody know him. Say yeah. know him. Know him. Know him. Yes. yes. And to knowledge, temperance. Yes. That word temperament simply means self-control. Yes. Knowing how to govern yourself. Yes, amen. That's good. And to temperance, patience. Yes. How many of you know God's people are people that know how to govern themselves? Yes. Right? Right? We're right. a patient people. We know how to right. suffer alone. That's right. Amen. And to patience, godliness. Yes. Verse 7. And to godliness, brotherly kindness. Yes. And to brotherly kindness, charity. Come on. Watch this. The Bible says, for if, mm -hmm. if these things be in you. In that order. Come on. You can't just talk about it. That's right. But it has to be in you. That's right. Hear, hear me today. These qualities, these characteristics okay. are not Come just on. topics of discussion. Uh -huh. right. It has to be in you. That's, That's right. it. And not only does it have to be in you, but the Bible said it must abound, yeah. which means that it must increase, which means that there's different dimensions and levels of these qualities. That's right. Thank you, God would take you from one level and measure of patience to another level and measure of patience. God would take you from one level of love to another level and dimension of love. You were finding yourself loving folks in ways that you have never thought imaginable, in ways that never have made sense. And you you're going to know that it was Please only by his divine power yes. that I'm able to love you like the way that I'm loving you. Thanks, sir. Woo. Ain't no way I'm going to have the patience to endure through this like the way I'm enduring through this unless God be in me. Oh, his power is increasing. His love is increasing. His godliness is increasing inside of me. It must be in you. Come on, baby. It must be in you. And it must be increasing. Yes. I love it. A lot of times we ask for increase, but I have never heard anyone say, God increase me in yes. my level of love. Yes. 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 We want increase in you finances. We want increase in houses. Oh, we God. want increases yeah, in okay. cars. Yeah, but yeah. very rel rarely do See? I hear somebody say, yeah. increase me in brotherly kindness. Come on, God help God. me to be kind oh, today. God, help me to love somebody today. God, help me to know you. I want to know you more. I know that we went through some things, and I know you as a healer, but I want to know you more. I want to know more dimension of who you are. Take me to manifold levels in you, God. Yes, in the name of Jesus. I want to know you greater. Come on. I love it. The Bible says, for if these things be in you and abound, they make you. Yes, that you should neither be barren. Oh my God. Here we go. Amen. Here we go. That word barren means idle. That's right. Whoa. Useless. Yes. Whoa. Nor unfruitful. That's right. In the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Come on. For if these things be in you. Uh huh. And abound. So we have to be maturing. That's right. These it's things right. have to be increasing. You can't, you can't settle. I come to give you a word this morning. What's the word? Come to on, say that you've been word. settling too long. Uh -huh. That's it. God has called you to go further and deeper. Ah. This word this morning is going to establish you. Yes. Yes. In the truths of God. Yes. I love it. The Bible says in verse 9. But he. But he that lacked. These, These things blind. is blind. Is blind. Amen. See there? Come on. You can know every tongue there is in the spirit. Come on, say that. <laughs> say that. You can pick out every address that's in the congregation. Say oh my God. That. Here we go. You can you can see in the spirit and be as deep as you want to be. That's right. Come on. I love now. it. But if Patience is not growing inside of you. Brotherly yes. kindness is not growing wow. inside of you. Love and charity is yes. not growing inside of you. The fruit of God is not growing inside of you. Then the Bible says you lacking. Yes. Somebody say you lacking. You lacking. You lacking. You lacking. You lacking. You These, the Bible says that, baby, and all your whatever you doing, you blind. You can't yes. see. You thinking you can see, but you can't see. 
and you cannot see a far off, let alone right in front Come of you. On, now, say that. And the Bible says that you must have an amnesia in your mind Come because on, the Bible says and have forgotten that he was purged from his old sin. Don't tell me you're a child of God if you ain't got the fruit, which is the evidence of God living on the inside of you. Come on. Amen. Lord. You walk and talk. The Bible says, wherefore the rather, brethren, giving diligence. Sir. The word diligence means to stay after. Yes. To stay after. Watch this. Lean on in. This is the important part. Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence, watch this, to make your calling <laughs> an election. For sure. Come on. Sure. Yes. For if you do these things, if talk to your neighbor, you should never fall. That's you right. Fall. You should never fall. Amen. You should never fall. Amen. I love it. Your days of tripping is over. Oh, my. You should never fall. Yes. Come on. You should never fall. Come on. Your days of stumbling over. I love it. You should never fall. Thank you. Well, Jesus. you should never fall. Thank you. Your days of staying on the ground. <laughs> you weary. Know. You should never fall you again. Know. You should never fall Thank again. You, sweet Jesus. Thank you. Knowing the name of Jesus. Yes. Changes everything. Everything. Glory to your name, God. Glory Today, to I want to. Release this word of truth that would establish and stabilize you. Okay. Why? Because the body has been changing and shifting. Help us, God. Being double minded, meaning torn between two opinions. Uh oh. You in the church? One minute you're over here, the next minute you're over there. And God is wanting to release a word to stabilize you. Amen. Thank you. To keep you from being tossed to and fro. Thank you. There's so many teachings. Out in the world today, there's so many doctrines that are not sound, mm -hmm. and it's having God's people don't not for sure. Yeah. You're not confirmed. Yes. You're not sure of your calling. What God has called you to. God had called you to Himself, That's right. Amen. not to another, Amen. not to strangers. Amen. But God has called you unto Himself. Yes, sir. Right. It's equivalent to what He did to the children of Israel yeah. uh -huh. when they was in the house of bondage, aka Egypt. And he called them to himself. He gave them an invitation. Anytime God gives you an invitation, he makes a way of escape for you to come to him. Hear me today. God is not going to call you and allow you to remain in bondage. Oh, just the Holy Ghost speaking today. God is not going to call you and allow you to remain in bondage. If you don't believe me, ask the children of Israel. He called the children of Israel unto himself. He gave them an invitation. However, he had known that he had to deliver them. Come on. He had to set them free because they wouldn't be able to go to Mount Sinai under the rulership of Pharaoh. So he had to deal with the enemy to set his people free. free. Anytime on. God calls you, he delivers you so you can come. That's it. Somebody say come. come. That's it. So, there's some things that will cripple you and hinder you from coming. Yes, the first sir. thing I have I to deal with this morning before we continue in the word is called deception. Uh, oh, my. I need you to flow. Deception. Deception is the act. Yeah. In that order. It's the Go act on. of causing someone to accept something that's true or valid what is false. Too many of you are accepting things that are true as truth that are really false and misleading. Yes, amen. These are vessels that hide the truth. Mm. They disguise the truth. Mm. And they add what they want to add to it in causing you to be misled. That's it. This is called deception. I love it. In that Many way. of you are under the spirit of del delusion mm. and you're being deceived. Yes. And you're following things and people that are not true. They are not, they're, they're not upholding the call. They're not pressing upward, but they're pulling you away from Help God. Lord. And God is sending out another invitation today. He's calling his people, yes, inviting sir. his people unto himself, Amen. not to another. Amen. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a revelation. The spirit is moving in this place yes, today. It is. Glory. The Bible says I would not share my glory with another. 
That's it. You are his glory. Yes. Yeah, 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 yes. And he's not going to share you with another. Yes. 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 I just gave you a revelation. Yes. Yes, you did. The Bible says he will not share his glory with another. Amen. You are his inheritance. Yes. You are a people, his prized possession. Yes. You are his glory. Yes. He's not going to share you with another. Yes, sir. I know. And God, Christ himself, is our glory. Yes. He is our hope of glory. Yes. You should not you. allow that to be taken away from Amen. you. Thank you, Lord. So the first thing we're going to deal with is deception. Ah, I love it. There's a song that said, open our eyes, Lord. So we can see. We want to see you. Please and thank you. Too many of y'all sitting in the congregation with your eyes closed. Please. Too many of y'all going to work with your eyes closed. And you need the scales to fall from your eyes. Yes, God. Please. A person that operates in the spirit of deception is dangerous. Yes, sir. You are danger unto yourself and, to and you are danger unto others. I love it. I love it. In that complete order. It's another D word I need to deal with. It's called dissimulation. Somebody say, what does that mean? What does that, what does that, mean? that mean? It's the act of hiding your real feelings. <laughs> wow. It's, it's, it's the act of hiding your true character. Yes. It's, it's the act of hiding your your real motives and intentions. This describes someone who is under a false appearance. This describes someone that is counterfeit. Yes. Oh my God. Somebody say, make sure your your calling and your election <laughs> is sure. Please make sure. This is somebody who's counterfeit. You're not yes. the real yes. real thing. Real. And many of you, because you've done church so long. Yes. You got the mechanics. You, yeah, you, no, you, you, you know how to flow. Oh, you know how to do all of these yeah, things. Yeah, when, when the music come on, you yeah, know how to shout. Yeah, you know how to dance. Yeah, you, you know, you know the right scriptures to say. Yeah, yeah, but it's not in yeah, you. Yeah, and it's not increasing. Help us, God. You just have a form of godliness. Yes. But you're denying the power, which is the grace thereof. In that order. Talk help to me. Lord. We need some help. Yes. You, you put it on a false appearance. That's right. Monday through Sunday, you're putting on a false appearance. This word is to help you, love. It's not yes. to condemn you. No. Amen. Amen. Yes. This word is to help Thank you. Thank God for correction. Thank receive. You. Receive. Amen. Receive. Mm -hmm. Receive. Somebody. That's come on. Come on. Put your hand over your heart and say, receive. 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 Because this is mercy. Yes, this is. is God's love to bring correction. Yes, yes, sir. This is not to condemn you. Please right. hear me this morning. To help you. Some Thank of you, you battling in your mind. Yes. You, you want to cut. You want to cut the phone off right now. Uh -huh. You want to. You want to turn it off right now because this is a challenging word. Yes. But Lord yes, sees Lord. you. Yes, you're being fake. Yes. But He's telling you that you're being fake and yes. counterfeit out yes. of love, so you can correct it. Yes. And make sure that your calling and election is yes. sure. Yes. Right. Somebody say this is a confirmation call. Yes. This is a confirmation Lord. call. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. The third thing we, we must deal with is called propaganda. Uh oh. Oh my. Mm. You in the church. Mm. You in it now. Propaganda yeah. is the act of spreading ideas. Mm -hmm. It's the act of spreading information. Well, what told then? This is the act of spreading rumors. Mm. Well. For the purpose of damaging another cause and God. furthering your own cause. Is that which what means propaganda See? talks about. And, and, and flows with the spirit of bringing your own information, spreading lies and rumors so you can hinder another's cause. Lord have mercy. So you can further your own cause. Yes, Lord Thank you, Jesus. There's a lot of propaganda going on within the body. Mm -hmm. See there? Amen. You're trying to hinder the cause of Christ. Some of you and many of you are living like enemies of the cross yes, of Christ. And you're spreading your own information and ideas, and you're not teaching the word of God. Come on, walk talk. And you don't realize that you're hindering the kingdom agenda. Yes. And you're furthering your own cause, and God sees you. And He's giving you an opportunity today to repent and come back into alignment. 
You it's spreading propaganda. Yes. That's it. Many of you have a, 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 a lot of leadership titles. Many uh -huh. of you are, are uh, have a lot of influence on, because man. you have money, you have connections, uh -huh. and instead of furthering the kingdom uh -huh. agenda, yes. you're furthering uh -huh. your own agenda. Yes. And God sees it, yes. and He calling it out for what it is. Yes. It's propaganda. Yes. And you don't realize it that you're fighting against the Lord Himself. Yes, that's what they're doing. That's what we're doing. Help us, God. Help us. Mm -mm -mm. It's time to put the rumors to rest. Yes. You it's stop. time to stop spreading these false teachings that you're picking up. Lord, no, no. And you're giving it and you're feeding it to the people oh, of God. You got them going astray. And you're causing the people of God to shift. Yes. You in the church? Oh, yeah, you in and oh, God is call, God. Call, call, calling to stabilize his people again. He wants to establish us yes. in the truth. Somebody you know, say in the truth. Walk tall. Like truth. You, you stand and talk. In the truth. Love it. Love it. Ooh, Jesus. You're getting tall. Confirmation. Come on. Make sure your calling and your election is sure. sure. Amen. Please. And thank you. Let me explain the purpose of confirmation. Uh -huh. I love it. Come on. Confirmations. May, I, I could do an earlier example. Let's do confirmation yeah. numbers. Many, mm -hmm. many of you have. How many of y'all heard of a confirmation number? Exactly. Right. You purchase something. You yeah. order something online. Yeah. You get a confirmation yeah. number, right? Come or on. maybe if you have a complaint or an issue, they uh -huh. issue you a confirmation yeah. number. Yeah. Well, the confirmation number is a unique number issued to identify and track a person's issue. Or maybe an application, right. or maybe a reservation, yeah. whatever it is, they assign a confirmation number. Thank you, and that confirmation number is important for both the customer and it's important for the provider. Y'all ain't hearing me this yeah. morning. Thank the you, confirmation Lord. number is important for the customer, and the confirmation number is important to, for the provider yeah, as they serve as proof of purchase. Yes. Mm. And a way to avoid fraud and errors. Amen, amen, amen. So if you have a confirmation number, uh -huh. you as the the customer uh -huh. have a confirmation number, you can take it to the provider. That's right, that's right. And the provider will be able to, be able to identify oh, who Jesus. you are because you have a confirmation number. Thank you you have a proof Jesus. of Purchase. Yes, yes. And if you don't have the right confirmation number, mm. then you will be identified as a fraud yes. and you will be identified as being in error. Yes, yes. So when God said, make sure that your calling and election is yes. sure, oh. he's saying that make sure you have your confirmation ah. number. I need you to act like people that's been purchased by the Hello. blood of yes. Jesus. Hello. I need to see a proof of purchase. I need this. I don't want to see no fraudulent people. Yes. I don't want to see a people that's you going in well, error. I want to see a people. I want to see the proof of my purchase of you. Yes. I want to see that you've been walking under yes. my name and covered by my blood. You should be living as a people yes. that's holy. Yes. Today is a confirmation Ooh. call. <laughs> <laughs> oh to see goodness. if you're really in the faith. Yeah. To see if you're really obeying now. the call yes. of God. Let's break this yeah. thing down. Yes, sir. Calling yeah. yes, sir. is an invitation to come forth. Yes. One thing about the callings of God, it causes movement. Yes, yes. sir. You're right. Y'all not hearing me today. Yes. That's it. When God calls you, it causes movement. Yes, yes. it. When God calls you and he gives you an invitation, it's an invitation to come forth. Meaning it's a yes. it's an invitation to depart from the place that you are at That's and it. to set out and to come into view to where he has called and destined you to be. Amen. Amen. Oh, some of you didn't you didn't catch it. Amen. That's it. Come on. You didn't catch it. The invitation that God gives you, he sends it out That's right. for you to come forward, That's meaning right. he wants you to depart from the place yes. that you're currently at. That's and it. to set out to come into view to the place that he have destined That's you to be. Yes. Yes. Glory. Glory to so God has callings. He's Amen. sent out invitations. Yes. Glory yes. To Amen. And those that receive the invitation and, and depart from their previous place yes. and set forth to answer the call of God and obey the call of God. These are the ones that are chosen. That's right. Amen. Amen. 
That's why the Bible says many are called, but few, but few are chosen. Many people have the invitation, That's but it. not many obey it and come to him. Therefore, they're not chosen. That's right. Amen. That's it. Amen. We just, we just killed that mystery. Okay. <laughs> to give you a real example. Look at the life of Abraham. Think about it. I need I need you to focus in on this. Look at the yes, life sir. of Abraham. Uh -huh. And I want you to examine your own life at the same time. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. The Bible says in chapter 11, verse 26, and Terah lived 70 years. Don't miss this. Uh -huh. Terah lived 70 years and begat Abram, Nahor, and Haran. Follow me. This is going to bless your life. Okay. Now, these are the generations. Of Terah. Yes. Terah begat Abram, Nahor, and mm -hmm. Haran, and mm -hmm. Haran began Lot. Okay. So Terah had three children, three sons, Abram, Nahor, and Haran. Mm -hmm. Okay? And Haran had Lot. Okay. okay? And Haran died before his father Terah in the land of his nativity. Okay. So this was a father that had to bury his own child. In Ur of the Chaldees. So Ur is the, the native land of, of terror. Mm -hmm. Haran died in the land of Ur. I need this is important. Okay. The Bible says in verse 29, and Abram and Nahor took them wives. Mm -hmm. The name of Abram's wife was Sarai. Y'all remember her? Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. And the name of Nahor's wife is Milcah, the daughter of Haran, the one that died in Ur. Okay. The father of Milcom and the father of Iscah. Watch this. Verse 30. But Sarah was barren. Uh oh. <laughs> she had no child. Mm -hmm. Right? But Sarah was barren. Mm -hmm. oh she had no child. Mm -hmm. Notice this is before the call of God. Yes. Oh, my Lord. I love it. I love your word. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Verse 31. Yes, sir. And Terah took Abram, his son. Watch this. Terah, the father. Took Abram his son and Lot the son of Haran, which is his child, which is his his grandchild, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. The son of Haran, his son's son, uh -huh. meaning his grandchild, uh -huh. and Sarah his daughter-in-law, uh -huh. his son's Abram's wife. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, sir. And they went forth. Watch this. And they went forth with them from Ur of the Chaldeas, which is their native land, okay. to go into the land of Canaan. Yeah. Uh, I, need, I need that to settle. Yes, sir. This is important. Okay. Yes, sir. So Terah took, he, he was set forth, mm -hmm. meaning he was leaving the place from which he was a native of mm -hmm. to set forth. His destination was Canaan. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they came unto Haran and dwelt there. Did y'all miss all of that in that one line? No. <laughs> okay. So you, you set forth to go to Canaan. Right. The Bible says you came up to Haran and dwelt there. That's it. Oh, okay. Okay. That's it. You set forth uh, to Canaan. Oh, got it. You came to Haran and settled there. Oh, my goodness. I love it. Come on, come on. You left your native land yes. to go to Canaan. But you stopped in Heron and That's settled the there. Yeah, you stopped the Lord, Lord, I'm settled right there. <laughs> Help us, God. That's what we're doing now. Verse 32. And the days of terror were 205 years, and terror died where? In Heron, not where he was supposed to be. Set forth to go to Canaan, settled in Heron, and died where you settled. Many of you right now are dying because you're settling where you're not supposed to be. Many of you are dying in a place because you chose to settle and not be what God has called you to be. Lord, have mercy. That's it. That's it. That's deep. That's good. That's good. Chapter 12. Follow me. The Lord, and now the Lord has said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house mm -hmm. unto a land that I will show you. Yes. Okay. That's it. Got that. 
What land was God showing him? Uh oh. What's the promised land? See? Talk to me. Uh uh. -oh. What was the promised land? What was that land? Uh, Canaan. Yes. Yes. Canaan. Yes. Oh Lord, help him today. Yes. Canaan. So notice that the Lord came to Abram. Yes. And told him to get out of the country and from thy kindred and thy father's house. Right. And unto a land that I will show thee. Yes. That land that God was showing him, which is known as the promised land, is called Canaan. Canaan. The same place that his father, Terah, started out to go. Wow. But his father fell short and settled. Wow. That's it. Many of you have seen your parents settle. Yes. That's it. Yes. Many of That's you it. have seen your grandparents settle. Yes. Many of you have family members that are settling now. Yes. And that My became God. your norm. But God is calling you to leave family, to leave your household, to leave whatever it is and depart from your, what you're familiar with, your native land, whatever you're familiar with. And he's calling you unto a promised land. And this land that I'm speaking of is not made or built with hands. God is calling you to a heavenly home. Thank you, ah. He's calling you to a different kingdom mm, And it's going to require from you yes, To depart from where you are Yes. And one of the confirmations Or proof of purchase That, that you've been purchased By the blood of Jesus Christ My Is God. that you will leave the former life yes. That wow. dead life that owe you See? and you will move forward and press forward to the calling in which God called you to. Well, what did he call me to? I'm going to be a preacher, pastor, yeah. know that? That's not a calling. Thank He's you. called you to holiness. Yes, oh, my God. Hallelujah. He called you to holiness. That's the word. That is the word. He called you to glory. That's right. He called you to virtue. Righteous. Wow. Yeah. He called you. Yes, he did. So when God is sending you an invitation to come to holiness, he's sending you an invitation to come to glory. Yes. He's sending you an invitation to come to virtue. Yes. He's sending you these invitations you, to man. come into the kingdom of Jesus Christ Thank with you. Jesus Christ's rule. You yes. must forsake all others. Yes. That's it. So my brothers and sisters this morning as I close, Thank this you. is a confirmation yes. call. Have That's you it. forsaken all? Yes. To accept the calling yes. That's it. of yes. Jesus Christ. Yes. Are you are you sure that you've yes. been called? Yes. Because if you're sure that you've been called, you're gonna do like Abraham did. Yes. And you're gonna depart yes. from your old land, meaning your old heart. Yes. The old way of thinking. Yes. The old Lord. sins that had yes. you bound. And you're gonna say, I'm not gonna settle in pornography. Yes. I'm not gonna settle in alcohol. Addiction. I'm not going to settle in drug Ooh, addiction. Yes. I'm not going to settle in this um, this relationship that is not my wife or my husband. I'm not going to settle with this boyfriend, girlfriend. I'm just not going to settle for shacking up. I'm not yes. going to settle for the same sex uh, yes. attraction. I'm not going to yes. settle for transism. I'm not going to settle for things that God has not called me to. I'm going to press forward. Towards the mark. Towards the mark. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Of the upward call. Yes. Something about the call of Jesus yes. takes you upward. Yes. Thank you, Lord. It don't beat you down. It no. takes you upward. And Thank what's you, upward? The heaven. Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. If you obey the voice of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And you press. Thank you, Lord. The reason why you have to press. Thank you, Jesus. Because the world around you has nothing but lust. Yes. That's trying to grab and captivate you. Yes. There has nothing but corruption. That's trying to hold you back. Yes. And it's pulling you. That's why Paul said I must press. Yes. Towards the mark. Meaning you must be laser focused. Yes. You must have tunnel vision. I can't afford to look to the left. Because it may cause me my life. Yes. I can't afford to look to the right. Because it may cause me my life. I can't afford to look backward about who I used to be. Because that life is no longer my own. Yes. My life is hidden in Christ. So I'm going to press. Yes. 
I'm going to press. I'm going to keep moving forward. I'm going to go upward. I'm not going back to who I used to be. I'm not going to allow you to drag me. I'm not going to allow you to shift me. I'm not going to allow you to change my mind. I'm going to press. I'm going to press. Because I'm going towards the mark. I'm going upwards. I ain't going down. Oh, I'm not going down now. I'm pressing upward to the call. I want to know Jesus. I want to see Jesus. So I must press. No matter the cost. Even if it means I have to lose some family members. Mm, I'm going to press. May, I may use some, lose some connections. That's it. I'm going to press. Right. I may That's lose right. my reputation. Right. I'm going to press. Yes. But I'm not going to be found a counterfeit. Yes. Oh God, I want you to authenticate me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> One thing about authentication. When your phone is locked, That's it. it tells you to put your thumb oh, here. Because they want to authenticate to you to see is you really the owner? Is this really your possession? And that's what God is doing today. He's authenticating his people in the spirit. And he want to see if his blood is on your life. Because if your blood is not on your life, you are marked as a counterfeit. And you're going to be thrown into the lake of fire. But if the blood of Jesus is on you, and if you're clothed in his righteousness, the authenticated access is granted. Access is granted. Come into the kingdom. Come into the kingdom. Second Peter, the last verse of that says, For so an entrance should be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I declare this morning that your days of stumbling, your days of falling, your days of shifting, your days of changing, your days of doubt, your days of being unsure is over and through it. Today you are confirmed. Today you will confirm your calling. Today you will confirm your election. Today you will be found faultless and blameless in Jesus Christ. 